Hey folks, Jerome Forcewood here. It is 3.05 p.m. on April 4th, 2023, traveling towards downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It is 9 degrees outside on a partly cloudy afternoon in the city. In this video, I walk for 1.6 kilometers, starting by the Translake bus stop, Burrard and Pacific. Then I stroll northeast on Burrard, southeast on Drake, northeast on Granville, ending my trek at Vancouver City Center SkyTrain Station. If you would like to support the channel and help me purchase some new equipment, click the heart icon to send me a super thanks. To receive updates, follow me on Instagram at jforcewood. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey you folks, Jerome Forrest here. Currently on Burrard Street. Walking towards Drake. It is 2.22 in the afternoon and it's 7 degrees outside. You can see the streets are slightly damp because we have partly cloudy day with a little bit of rain. So I brought my trusty umbrella just in case, but it looks like uh, we're okay for now. So we're going to turn south on Drake. Just passing 950 Drake, which is a residential building. There's a little bit of clouds over the sky. Some of them are dark and some of them aren't. So <laughs> we'll see if it does rain again. It is Vancouver, so <laughs> it's uh, more highly unlikely than not. And this is Hornby Street. I'll just hit the button. So this would be the intersection of Hornby and Drake.
Why can't pedestrians just wait until they have the right of way to cross? <laughs> That's why that guy honked his horn. I didn't need to hear him honk his horn, but he honked it for good reason. <laughs> this is the local Starbucks here. And it's uh, moderately full. A lot of people seem to be working on their laptops. Um, I do work a swing shift that starts at around 5 a.m., sometimes 6. So that's why I'm off now. But most people uh, who are working today will probably still be uh, working for another couple hours. This is the intersection of Drake and Howe. Well, oh, our turn. So let's cross. And Howe's one of the streets that feeds into the Granville uh, Bridge. And it'll take you across that section of Granville over to the other side, which would be the west side of uh, Vancouver. <laughs> Of course, right now we're in the downtown. Passing the GEC Hotel and Residence and the local white spot that's here at the corner of Drake and Granville. There goes the number 10 Marina Drive bus. That <laughs> goes all the way down to the almost the airport. Well, it goes to Marine Drive Station. And this would be the intersection of Granville and Drake, which is on the south side of, and the number 10 goes to the south side of Vancouver. <laughs> and what's uh, technically known as the South Vancouver Borough? Of course, there's a west side and the east side as well. And then there's sub-regions within that, those regions also. And North Vancouver is its own town. <laughs> or own separate city. Yeah, looks like it's our turn. Let's cross. She should be on the street and not sidewalks. <laughs> and we're on Granville Street now. Passing Hotel Ambassador. Or the Ambassador Hotel. <laughs> And the two parrots.
And this is the intersection of Granville and Davy. And if you head in that direction, you'll end up at the Davy Village. There's a local blends coffee too. <laughs> I already got my fix this morning, so I'm good. And we'll cross the street here. There's a school group next to me, and that's all the chattering, but I'm not going to turn the camera that way. <laughs> They're going back to the school. They're going to cross Granville and go back up Davy. <laughs> and we'll continue on Granville here. There it goes to number 50, uh, heading over to Waterfront Station. And that's number 7 from uh, the Nanaimo Station bus. We'll continue along Granville here. This is Helmacken that we're approaching now. And it looks like it's our turn. So we'll cross. Oh, those, there goes the MTR Western Flexi Bus. You can see Flexi Buses also in other major Canadian cities like Toronto. Of course, the local Flexi Buses. In Toronto, we'll stop uh, in the South Core <laughs> on York Street at York and Harbor. Over here, I'm not quite sure where they meet, but they do have a website, and you can find that information online at the website. And Flexi Bus offers competitive rates, so if you're looking for a bit of a longer haul bus that goes between cities, that's something to consider. I'm sure it's just as great over here as it is in Toronto. So we'll continue on Granville here. Passing the old hotel regalia. It doesn't look like it's open anymore. And the local a and and Hotel Belmont, which is at the corner here. This, of course, is Nelson Street. We're at the intersection of uh, Nelson and Granville. And it's our turn.
Now we're approaching the Vogue Theater. <laughs> Looks like some buskers <laughs> using cell phone apps to tune their guitars. And the local Dublin Colleen is next to us right now. It's one of the major bars on the strip. And we'll stop here. And this would be the intersection of Granville and Smythe. And you can see the cinema pub across the street. And then if we turn the camera back this way, Mr. Vape Smoke and Bombs next to the Orpheum Theater. <laughs> There we go. And so we're crossing Smythe and we'll continue on Granville here. Passing the Golden Age Collectibles, one of the local comic book shops. And up ahead of us is the Commodore uh, Bowling and Billiards, which is also a licensed lounge. <laughs> Then, of course, we're on the strip of Granville, where there's a whole bunch of shops, as well as the Pacific Center, which is the CF Pacific Center. Uh, CF stands for Cadillac Fairview, and that's the local mall. And this is the intersection of Granville and Robson. I'll show you. That's Robson right there. If you head in that direction, you can end up over at Robson Square. But we'll continue on Granville here. So there's a few different prominent stores on this part of the strip, like the North Face and Fans and Helly Hansen. There's even a Sleep Country and a Claris. And you can find a lot of those stores in other areas of uh, Canada as well. <laughs> and sometimes you won't necessarily find those stores that you would assume if you're from a colder province. Whether it be Winnipeg or Ontario or Quebec, and that you you wouldn't see those stores necessarily in the mall that you would see. You'd see them possibly also outside on the strip, just because of the temperate climate of Vancouver.
That guy had a Zeller shirt on. <laughs> it's having a bit of a revival right now. And for good reason. <laughs> Selling products that are more affordable <laughs> during a period of inflation. Smart marketing move on behalf of Hudson Bay Company. <laughs> And this is the intersection of West Georgia and Granville. And I'm going to cross West Georgia, or Granville Street in a minute. I have to wait. There's the number 17 Oak Bus. On oh, its magic journey. <laughs> so we'll just wait here at the intersection of Granville and West Georgia for the light to change. See the countdown right there. There goes another one of those number 10 waterfront station buses. And here we are at Vancouver City Center Station. And we'll go down here to Vancouver City Center Station. And I'm going to head on into the Pacific Center. <laughs> So anyways, folks, thanks for coming today, and uh, nice to hear from you, and uh, I'll talk to you later, okay? Just remember to share, like, and subscribe. <laughs> See you later, folks. Have a good day.